venturing into property investment can be fraught with uncertainty, even more so when the property is situated in a region prone to geohazards. Imagine an investor eyeing a piece of land in an area notorious for landslides. Vendors may ensure them of its stability, but how can they be certain without waiting months to gather and analyze survey data? Is there a quicker and more efficient way to assess the risk? Stay tuned as we're about to dive into a solution that might just change the game. This is IAM News, bringing you the very latest in infrastructure asset management. I'm Iphigenia, welcome. Measuring the susceptibility of infrastructure and property to geohazards, such as landslides, usually involves site monitoring where several months must pass to accumulate sufficient data. The process is time-consuming and expensive in a situation where budgets are tight and time is of the essence. INSA is a satellite data analysis technique used to detect ground deformation over time by analyzing the phase differences in SAR images acquired at different times. Certain patterns of ground movement, including subsidence, uplift, and lateral displacement, may be early indicators of a potential landslide. Let's take a look at how this analysis is completed step by step. The first step for analysts is to acquire data. Historical SAR images over an area of interest at different time intervals are obtained to enable the measurement of surface deformation over time. The big advantage of SAR is that images are being archived all the time, so there is no need to wait for data to accumulate to detect trends, as is the case with conventional monitoring techniques. Next, Atmospheric effects must be corrected for. The effects can introduce errors, so this pre-processing step is necessary to minimize noise before the actual analysis can take place. Techniques such as persistent scatterer interferometry, PSI, can be used to identify signal coherent points on the Earth's surface that can be relied upon to assess ground movements. With the pre-processing step complete, the interferometric analysis can begin. Interferograms are images of the phase differences between pairs of SAR images. The phase values from one SAR scene are subtracted from another to create a differential graph that highlights ground movement that occurred between the two acquisition dates. After phase unwrapping to correct for ambiguities, a time series of interferograms can be created by repeating the process for multiple pairs of SAR images. The time series is then analyzed to identify areas consistent with significant phase changes over time. And what do persistent changes in these phases indicate? Correct, ground deformation. These results must then be interpreted to categorize these movements as either subsidence, uplift or lateral movement and whether they could be the telltale signs of a landslide. The results can be uploaded to a geospatial database for easy access by clients. In our case, the investor could rest assured knowing that his new property is not at risk of a landslide anytime soon. They say a house must be built on solid ground to last. Well, now you can check for solid ground a lot more quickly. You've been watching IAM News. Join us next time.